Yes, I'm William Tress Jr. and I'm a part of the Book Toasters. I was a part of the original member of the Book Toasters. I'm a welcome water on the show today. And uh, she's coming on as a Book Toaster. And uh, she, she's a proud author of two books. And uh, the, the second one is called Mother Will. It's a self help book. And uh, it, she discusses her family background from Sharkey County. And uh, she moved to Jackson at a very young age. And uh, she, she teaches a very good values in the book, like faith and moral values and hard work. And she, the first thing she says, the first chapter in her book has to do with marriage and it being sacred. And I want her to discuss this concept with all of us. Uh, hi, everyone. Mr. William, um, this is my book, Mother Wit. And my softback book and my hardback book, Mother Wit. I have six chapters in my book. Chapter one is um, marriage. Uh, second uh, chapter is uh, family and self-esteem. Third, hygiene. The second one is uh, appreciation. The fourth one, forgive and forget. Fifth one, family relationship. When you discuss marriage is sacred, uh, you uh, stress that the husband needs to be the head of the household, and this is very important. Right, I've been explaining that. Oh, marriage, okay. marriage case, in other words, the inst institution of marriage is religion rather than worldly. Wife of a husband shall be committed to their marriage. God set at his throne above the man and the woman. Okay, in the second chapter, you discuss family self-esteem. Right. Now it's important for every member of his family to have self proper self-esteem, you know. Okay. It's 03, 27, 21. Book review. Family self-esteem. It is important for every member of your household to have good self-esteem. The family leads the, family leads the parents the leader of the parents, a mother, a father. The father must make sure his wife and children are happy. You could make a list of quality of friends who is your special friend. A special friend has your back. It's a person with low self-esteem mentally. People with good self-esteem are healthy and usually positive mind. Tell yourself that I am a good, I am good enough. That's on my self family and self-esteem. You are important. And my second, third chapter is hygiene. Parents, it is your job to teach your children about in and out of hygiene. Also, today, uh, proper hand washing is the most important health and hygiene practice to teach your child. Frequently cleaning and sanit using clean sanitary objects and clean suffrage it's important, especially to during this pandemic. Everyone, let's keep everything clean in order to protect our family. Stay safe. That's on uh, hygiene. And next, you discuss appreciation. Every, every member of the family needs to be appreciated. Yes. As a parent, we must appreciate our children in our imitation and extremely family. I immediately, I'm sorry, 
our immediately and our extreme, our extended family. Appreciation. Children should honor and appreciate parents and their elderly. Honor means respect. Everyone to appreciate your life and the life of others. The key to every relationship. Appreciating someone makes them feel good about what they do, which make a difference in their life. What is a good people? What is good for people is uh, with worth repeating. Let me say this again. What it is good for people is worth repeating. Everyone should value and be grateful for our home, car, job, neighbor, parents, and the Lord God, our Savior. In the uh, next chapter, you stress the importance of forgiveness in, a, in the family and how this is tied to the Bible and the worship of Jesus Christ. And uh, this is a major foundation of the Christian faith and also a family relationship. Uh, All right. Forgive and forget. Each person in this world goes through unpleasant experience. If a person says something or did something to a person that was wrong, he or she should ask that person to forgive him or her. One doesn't have to forgive, but we can forgive everyone. Everyone in this world make, make, make mistakes. Try hard to forgive family and friends. The act of forgiveness allow people to go in peace and move on with their lives. Life is a challenge and it's full, it's, it's, excuse me, let me say it again. Life is a challenge and it's a full-time job that lasts throughout our life. Everyone, no one is perfect. Learn to make good decisions about you will make learn to make good decisions although you will make mistakes try to make the best of every situation your next chapter is on family relationships and how and why we should give it all to god a father and a mother and their children are family well the title chapter is family and relationship a father and a mother and their children are a, are a family. The parents are the glue that holds the family together. Being a parent takes a lot of hard work. A father and a mother, you are responsible for your children's life from birth to 18 years old. Now, you describe the characteristics of good parenting and bad parenting in your book. Would you please uh, go over this for us? Okay, good parents is the one that's going to be there for their child through birth until they turn the age of 18 and make sure they get a good education, go to college, and set their goals in life. Well, parents that... Uh, Maybe they come up in a kind of like, well, it's a different type, two different type of parents. One can come up more advanced and one can come up less advanced, the parents. In other words, if the mother them, they kind of poor like, they can't afford clothes and shoes and stuff and proper lunch to, for their kids to eat, you know, to have strength. And a parent's got to be there, make sure the kids clean, you know, make sure they bathe, teeth brush, and all that, dress good for school and go to school every day. And when the kids come home, the parents should be there to help them with their homework. Not all, some parents, not always, uh, be a responsible parents when the kids get out of school 
help them with their homework instead they let them go outside and play and just 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 they just come in and lay the book on the side on the side and just go out to play and then when it do time to come in you know they just I think a child should do their homework first. I think a parent should be there supporting that child every step of the way, each and every day. Now, uh, will you please discuss your family background and how this prepared you to write a book like this? Uh, how your family background contributed toward that? Your phone, uh, your phone kind of breaking up, Mr. William. Uh, would you please discuss your family background and how this helped you to write a book on uh, family relationships? Oh, oh, right. Well, I learned a lot. Um, well, it ain't easy to write a book. I can't share that with you. But when you come up and you see a lot, and I'm very observant, and I just learned a lot. And I just feel like as I was growing up, I see many, many different family going through different type of uh, lifestyle. Some there support their kids and some not. And uh, maybe, I, I ain't the one that judge, but maybe they had upcoming problems the same way that we have in my life, my family and I. But we struggle to do this and try to be the best and do the do the best that you can do. And yeah, and there's, there's nobody that has a perfect family. We all have our, our problems, you know. Yeah, it, it's so it, it, it go ways back. It's just kind of hard and complicated to figure out a uh, responsible parent and, and a parent that's not responsible. And some moments mm -hmm. just it just happen like that. And the only thing we could do is just pray for them. Yeah, Hopefully, I'm praying that my book uh, help self help mother with that um, each parents and each different family read my book and learn that the different in uh, in marriage, uh, you know, the different in uh, other uh, complicated that we have in our life. God, I. My strong belief that I will lay it to write this book. Marriage. I believe it's a real good book and it's real informative and it teaches a uh, family how to relate to each other in a proper manner. You know? Well, it's very important. Well, a mother needs to stick by her babies. But number one, I was a single mother, you know, um, but I was the mother and father for my children. I had two boys and one girl, so. Um, I felt like it wasn't their fault. I'm responsible for the children because uh, it's not their fault because they, they pressure and I'm the grown up and I need to be there with them for uh, their health, safety, education, roof over their head and um, just be there with them every day to the, you know, from birth until they turn 18. And go, yeah, off to, go off to college. It's like I said earlier, being a parent is a hard job. It's not easy. It really is a hard job. You have to give all you can get. You're going to have to give all, do all you can do to make sure this happens. Because no child won't be left alone or left behind mm -hmm. with a poor life coming up. Yeah. Lack of education. Don't have job skill. You they have to be taught. And speaking of job, the first job is at home for a child, for your children when they're growing up. A parent job is to teach them, teach them how to keep their room clean, share chores in the house, yard. Teach the boys how to take the trash out yard and stuff like that. There, that's their first jobs. So when they get grown, they'll have the energy and the want to work and make a living. Yeah, they give them a good background and a good start in life, you know. Right, and that's the mother do, it's, that's a good thing about mother, you got to hang in there all these years. I know it seems torture, but sooner or later your happiness and, and 
get a chance to shine and explore life when your children get grown and gone in college and get out on their own. It's not too late for you to go start having your farm. But in the mm-hmm. meantime, the meantime, the parents, father and mother, need to stay there and stick it out and try to raise a happy, productive family and love your children like you love yourself and treat your kids like you want to be treated. Love is very important in the family. Right. Uh, could you please tell people how you can purchase Mother Wit? Uh, what what uh, you can how you can purchase it on um, what uh, uh, network? Yes. Now there are several places that you can purchase my book. I have this the hardback, color hardback. I have a color hardback and a black and white hardback, and this is my softback book. Saltback book is seven dollars and seventy four cents. My hardback is thirteen ninety eight, and I believe my color one is uh, I believe my color one is uh, fourteen ninety eight. And my ebook is one ninety nine. You can go on Amazon for my saltback and ebook. You can go on Burns and Noble for my hardback book. In order, and also you can go to Mary www.maryceterer.com in order, also. Well, it was a pleasure having you today. And uh, you wrote a real good book, I read it, and it's really a good book. I recommend it to everybody in our listening audience buy our book because it's really, really informative. If anybody is interested in raising a family in a proper way, this will really teach people how to do it. And uh, I thank you for, for, for coming on the show today. I also want to share, can I share this um, something right quick? Okay, all right. My, showing my uh, advanced praises. I would like to thank Mr. Willis Shress Jr. Jr. He's the author. He read my book and I'm so proud of him. And, and, the, and the message that he uh, put in my book is in a fashion book, Mother Wit, Irma Mae Rogers Walker. Offer a solution to family, unit, experience problem. Her timeless and providing methods of successful family developing cohesive captivity the reader and move the hearts by Mr. William Tracy. Mother with is filled with stage advice that is practiced and timeless. It can be used as a conversation to start for everyone waiting to discuss life and lesson. For the young generation seeking advice to the older generation sharing advice, you will enjoy the bits and bits of this book has to offer. Also, the Ned Stanford radio personality, the magical stroller book, Lady, Greenville, Mississippi. She implied Mother Wit by Irma May Rogers is quick and enjoyable reading. It. It's full for the it's food for the soul. Shake full, choke full of Bible basic nutrition for a strong marriage, thriving family unit. Spirit, she's an author. Heaven can you hear me? No condemnation. And also about the author, Ms. Irma May Walker Roger, <clears throat> Ms. May, Irma May Roger Walker is the author of A Star with the Parent. Mother Wit is an extension of Walker. 
first work. She was born in a plantation in Sharker County in Mississippi, Delta. She grew up in the 1950s and 1960s with her 14 siblings. A single mother in the city of Jackson, Mississippi, Walker family, competent and unlicensed counsel. It's an amazing mother, a loving grandmother, and a good neighbor. Okay, could you please one more time go over how to and publish your book so who can remember that before we go out of the air? You can go on Amazon, Barnes and Nova, other some old bookstore online, and uh Mary Sellery Coleman McGee. Okay, really appreciate it. Miss Williams, get that name straight for me. Whose name now? There's several places you can purchase my book. Oh, uh, Amazon, uh, Meredith, etc. Uh, uh, what's the other place? Uh, Amazon, Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble, yeah, that's very important. Barnes and Noble and Amazon and Meredith, etc. And some bookstore online. Online ebooks. Uh -huh. It's uh at uh my ebook and softback book is at Amazon. Uh huh. Uh -huh. It's the hardback at Burns and Noble. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, well, it's nice having you today, and I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, you being here, and we had such a good discussion. I think I think anybody in our audience would value having these books. Your book, this current book, you know, you're also the author of a previous book that people might be interested in. And uh, you, you, uh, you have a good day and, and uh, take care. Okay, and I thank you, Mr. Willard, for reading my book and taking interest in doing this book review with me. And you have a blessed Appreciate day. Appreciate it. Thank you. You too.